In this video, I'm really excited to show everybody an outro video that I just made, as well as teach you how incredibly easy it is to make one. Probably the most frequent question that I get is how I make my content. And because I've been so focused on providing tools and resources for how to teach remotely, I just haven't had the time to put together those kinds of videos. I know a lot of people want to know exactly how I make my tutorials, and you're just going to have to wait a little bit for that one. But today I am going to show you a piece of what I do to make my videos. So you'll notice at the beginning of my videos and in the beginning of a lot of YouTube videos that they'll have these cool little intro scenes. In some previous videos, I've mentioned that I've been working really hard on creating resources and curriculum for my upcoming 21st century classroom course. And as a part of that, I went and created a new video outro. So first, I just want to show you that new outro here so that you can check it out. When I was first learning how to make YouTube videos, I would see intros and outros like that and think that somebody either paid somebody a lot of money to make that or that they personally must have some advanced skills in how to design something like that. Since one of my big goals is to show teachers and students how to create with technology, I'm going to pull back the curtain here a little bit to demystify the process and show you how easy it is to make one of these. So the website I use to get my intros and outros is called IntroChamp. And just a disclaimer here, I'm in no way affiliated with IntroChamp. I genuinely use them to make my intros and outros. So you'll see on IntroChamp that they have all these thumbnails for different intro and outro designs for your YouTube videos. And if you hover over it, it will show you what that design would look like when it doesn't have a logo or any of your personal information in it. So let's take a quick look at this one here, for example. So when I knew that I wanted to design an outro for some upcoming videos that I'm making, all I did was search for some different videos under technology to see what would pop up with that search term. Then I scrolled through some different videos and I found one that I liked. So you'll see here when I select this video that it's basically the same one that I showed you in the beginning of this tutorial. Then all I did to customize it was enter the URL for my upcoming course in the text portion. And then I clicked on the image tab and uploaded a logo that I had already created in Adobe Spark post. Then after clicking save and preview, I was able to preview the video to see what it would look like with the customized text and image that I had just dropped in. Okay. So you see that it's the exact same thing that I showed you in the beginning of this video that you might've thought took me hours to design when in reality, it took me an extremely short time to make. And then you'll see that to purchase it, the prices are also super low. So I only paid around $8 for this video. And then when I wanted to download it, I just clicked purchase, entered my information and bought the video. I promise in some future videos that I'll also show the different ways that I actually create the entire tutorials that I make for this channel. In the meantime, I hope you learned a little trick about how to make an awesome looking intro or outro using IntroChamp. And one really awesome way to use this with students would be to have your own YouTube channel that you post private tutorials to, and then add this intro to the beginning of that video. Your students would think you are pretty much the coolest teacher ever, and I definitely recommend that you try doing it. All right, thanks so much for watching this video and have a great week. Thank you so much for watching my video to the end. If you found the tips that I shared helpful, please share it with other teachers that you know, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of my weekly updates. You can also check out some of the other tutorials I have on my channel by clicking on one of those two videos above. And if you're interested in downloading any of the resources that I've created and show on my videos, please visit my website at www.newedtechclassroom.com. Lastly, if you want to check me out on social media, my Twitter handle, Facebook page, and Pinterest account are all in the description below. Thanks so much and have a great week.